subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer. Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer Certification. The Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer Certification is outlined for architects, analysts, and application managers, who want to design secure, scalable integrations with the Lightning Platform. The Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer Exam is designed to define a candidate's volubility in effectively communicating technical solutions to technical stakeholders, and presenting a project delivery framework that ensures quality, and success. A Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer evaluates the integration requirements needed to design secure, scalable solutions for combining the Salesforce platform. Now we will talk about, skills, and knowledge required. First, design high-performing, secure, and reliable integrations with the Lightning Platform, and other enterprise applications. Second, analyze existing, and future state integration architecture. Third, develop, and maintain the integration architecture blueprint for the project. Fourth, integrate with other enterprise applications, and cloud applications. Fifth, effectively communicate architecture design to various stakeholders at many levels. Sixth, follow best domain practices in integration. Seventh, architect robust, scalable security mechanisms for interfaces. Who should take this exam? For specialists who assess the architecture environment, and requirements, and design sound, and scalable technical solutions on the Salesforce platform that meet end-to-end -end integration requirements. Now we will discuss about, exam details. Describing the format, and necessary details of the Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer is the next important step. The exam includes, 60 questions. The questions will appear in the form of multiple choice, or multiple select format. The candidate will get, 105 minutes to complete the exam. Passing marks for this exam is, 67%. The candidate has to pay, 400 US dollars plus applicable taxes as the registration fee. The retake exam fee is, 300 US dollars plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer Course Outline The Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer exam measures a candidate's knowledge, and skills related to the following objectives. First, Salesforce integration capabilities, which compromises 28% weightage for this exam. Second, Salesforce integration patterns, which compromises 17% weightage for this exam. Third, enterprise integration architecture concepts, which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Fourth, Salesforce integration testing, which compromises 10% weightage for this exam. Fifth, integrating with Salesforce security, which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Sixth, tools, which compromises 10% weightage for this exam. Seventh, monitoring, which compromises 5% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Number one, Salesforce integration capabilities, 28%. It contains, first, in a given scenario, recommend when to use API-based integrations, such as SOAP, REST, bulk, streaming, canvas, workflow outbound, apex, callouts, at future, etc., and lightning connect to achieve business requirements. Second, compare, and contrast the advantages, and drawbacks, design trade-offs, of using API-based integrations such as SOAP, REST, bulk, streaming, canvas, workflow outbound, apex, callouts, at future, etc., and lightning connect. Number 2. Salesforce Integration Patterns, 17% It contains First, provided an integration scenario, describe requirements, and issues that the architect must consider to select the right pattern, layer, timing, direction, and volume. Second, in a customer scenario containing business requirements, summarize which implementation pattern will achieve those goals. Third, compare, and contrast the advantages, and drawbacks, design trade-offs, of using various patterns, such as remote process invocation, request, and reply, remote process invocation, fire, and forget, batch data synchronization, remote colon, and UI update based on data changes. Number 3, Enterprise Integration Architecture Concepts, 15%. It contains. First, 
Given a customer scenario containing business requirements for integrating Salesforce with other enterprise back-office systems, recommend the appropriate integration architecture. Second, analyze, and determine when, and where to use data cleaning, standardization, deduplication, and data transformation as part of data integration. Third, analyze, and determine the various considerations, while performing data migration, including, but not limited to, platform handle bulk data load, versus SOAP data load, monitoring the data loads, and error handling. Number 4, Salesforce Integration Testing, 10%. It contains. First, given a software development lifecycle scenario, determine the timing, type, and sequence of testing activities that are needed for successful implementation. Second, given an integration scenario, determine the appropriate platform capability needed to meet the testing requirements. Number 5, Integrating with Salesforce Security, 15%. It contains. Given a scenario, determine the appropriate security strategy to meet customer requirements. Number 6, Tools, 10%. It contains. First, given a scenario, determine the appropriate tools to meet the customer requirements. Second, given a scenario, analyze, and recommend the appropriate tools by comparing the pros and cons to meet the business requirements. Number 7, Monitoring, 5%. It contains. Given a scenario, identify, isolate, and recommend approaches for integration challenges. Salesforce Integration Architecture Design or Preparatory Guide. First, review the exam objectives. The first step should be reviewing the exam objectives. Before you begin with the preparation for the certification exam, make sure you are up to date with all exam info because certification exams keep on updating with new technology coming every day. So, your first step should be the official website of Salesforce, and view and match if you, and the website are on the same page. Second, Salesforce Study Guide. The study guide is the next step in the study guide for the Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer Exam. You will find the study guide for the Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer Exam, at the official website of the Salesforce. This guide provides information about the target audience for the certification exam, recommended training, and documentation, and a complete list of exam objectives, all with the intent of helping you achieve a passing score. Third, Trailhead. Trailhead is the most important aspect of your preparation guide, when it comes to Salesforce. Trailheads, indeed, are very helpful, and useful resources for preparing for such an exam. With Trailhead, you can review online documentation, tip sheets, and user guides, search for the topics listed in the exam outline section of this guide, and study the information related to those topics. Fourth, Training Course. Training Course is your key to successfully pass the exam. You can easily get acquainted with training courses for the same. Salesforce offers the candidate with quite a few options to choose from. We at Test Prep Training highly recommend training courses. The understanding here is not one-dimensional, but rather viewing a problem from every angle possible. Fifth, join a study group. For passing the Salesforce Marketing Cloud Administrator exam, the candidate needs to get and share knowledge. So, we are suggesting you join some study where you can discuss the concepts with the people who have the same goal. This will lead the candidate throughout their preparation. Sixth, practice test. The most important step is to try your hands on the practice test. Practice tests are the one which ensures the candidate about their preparation. There are many practice tests available on the internet nowadays, the candidate can choose whichever they want. The practice test is very beneficial in preparing the Salesforce Marketing Cloud Administrator exam. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.